In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a table view. Let's create new JavaFX project. I'm using JDK 17.0.1 uh, without uh, dependencies. Let me change to um, table view. Here I'm going to remove model, delete factor, save delete, OK. Let me change the name, refactor. Rename. I will keep it as a application. Next one, I will rename to controller. FXML. I will change to view dot FXML. Refactor to refactor. Project structure, libraries, let's change to um, non-modular, so let's remove it all, add java, in my case it's on the program files, java, javafx sdk, um, 17.0.1, library, Apply OK. Let's open FXML in SimBuilder. Okay, we have a free box with two components. Copy controller. Delete. Let me use anchor paint. You can paste back controller. Then hierarchy. Now we are going to use a uh, table view. It comes with uh, two columns. C1 and C2. Let's add one more table column. So you can uh, name table view for FX ID. Table column. I'm going to use a product class eventually, so that consists with the three data fields. The first one is name. So I will use TC name. Uh, TC stands for table column. Second data field, I'm going to use uh, price for FX ID. I will say TC price. Last column here, we are going to use a quantity. Name is a TC quantity. You can uh, arrange it, make it bigger. It's up to you. Um,
Okay, let's save. Then return to IntelliJ. So let's create a data field. There's a name. Then a price. Then a quantity. Let's change the private. All of them, one by one. Then you can add FXML annotation. That's the last one. So we have uh, all FXML. Okay. This is actually a sample uh, method, so we will remove it. We don't use it anymore. Let's implement uh, an initializable interface. Then uh, we can implement initialize abstract methods. Okay, before we continue here, okay, we need to think about the product uh, class that use uh, name and price and quantity for this table view. Okay, so let's um, create a new class called product. Let me begin with uh, three data fields. Product name, uh, product price, then uh, last one is um, quantity. Let's uh, generate setter and getter. You can select them all with the safety key. Let me go back here. Generate constructor. Okay, default constructor without selecting anything. Then this time I'm going to um, generate constructor with uh, three parameter. You can press hold safety key and select them all. Here, default constructor, let me initialize it. Uh, invoking another constructor with default value. Last one is integer, zero. Let me do one more, two, three methods so that we can test it if it's necessary. Two, three, uh, print them all, okay. So as we can see, we have um, three data fields, name, price, quantity, and then two constructors, then um, pairs of uh, setters and getters. And then we have one uh, overwritten method, override method called um, two string. Let's go back to controller here. We know that table view uh, is, is going to be a product using product class. Then table column uh, depends on class. And then the data type, first one name is string, product class. And then the price is double, data type. We are using a leopard class, okay? That's why we are using a capital, uh, capitalized name for integer as well. Because JavaFX, you may prefer to use object rather than primitive data type. 
then we need um, uh, product items. Private. Uh, I will say constant, so final. This is going to be um, product array. Product items. Then let me uh, list uh, list three items inside. That is going to be a product objects. So new product. Apple 199 100. Okay, then um, if you look at here, I'm talking about the uh, uh, name and then um, price and quantity. Okay, uh, before I sign it, there is a mistake quotation here. Delete that. Copy. Paste it. So let me change to uh, something else. Pair. Make it more expensive. 299. Let's say um, 100 quantity here. That should be 200. And uh, let me change to orange. Let's change to 399. And three, 300 quantity, okay? So we have uh, three uh, product objects. Okay, this FXML, we don't really uh, need it, so let me remove. Uh, we need to actually add it as an observable list to table view so that we can add and delete or edit um, items eventually. So let's say uh, observable list. Type is a product class type. Let me name it as a product list. FX collections. Here we are using uh, observable array list, and then there will be product items. I think the setting is pretty much uh, that's it. So the first one we are going to uh, display data on the cell, the cell of uh, table uh, view. using a property value factory. The first one here referring to a data type of a product class called name that refers to TC name in the table view. So let me change TC price for the second column of a table view. Second data field or product class is a price. It's a TC quantity. That should be matched with the quantity in the product class. Okay, in order, name, price, quantity. Next one, we can focus on uh, displaying raw data. This is um, pretty simple. I will change that name. Uh, should be TB, but I summarize. Keep it as a TC. Okay, set items. We are looking at product list. Then we can actually add um, items manually here. If you prefer this way, product list add a new product uh, object. 
let's say pineapple three nine nine make it as um, uh, five hundred Okay, let me uh, add some comments so that you can read later on. This is uh, how to display data on the table view uh, cell to be holding some sort of a data. Again, data will be uh, name of the product. So, for example, first one will be Apple. Next cell going to have a 1.99, and then next cell will have a quantity 100, and so on. This is just adding new uh, item manually. So here, let me add some comments to. This is a creating an array of product items. Next one is um, create observable um, array list of uh, product list. Okay, seems okay. Um, let's build or rebuild up to you. Here, uh, first time you may need to add the configuration. Let me change to app. Actual application is application class. Add VM options. You can add module pass to your JavaFX SDK library directory. Then you can list um, three JavaFX library. JavaFX control, JavaFX FXML, and then uh, JavaFX graphics. Okay. Okay, before I continue, let me fix the minor, minor mistake. Table view should be prefix with a TV. So let's change to TV product. Then there will be one more okay, TV product. Okay, big project. Then you can load it. As you can see, you have uh, four items. Three item comes with the uh, um, observable array list. Then the last pineapple item I actually added manually with this in uh, initialize uh, methods.